welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, I would love it if you would. So just hit that subscribe button. And if you have, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. So today I'm really excited to talk about some of my favorite fragrances that have a tea note in them. So tea can come in a, diff a bunch of different varieties. There's black tea, there's Earl Grey, there's green, there's different, um, different other types like oolong and um, Assam. There's just many different varieties of tea and it's just one of the oldest and most beautiful ingredients, I think. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Before I do that, I just wanted to let you know that my upload schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So you can um, hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified of my videos, but that is my schedule. So anyway, I'm just gonna jump right into what I have in front of me, which is a beautiful selection. The first one is Gucci Ohm 2, and this has violet leaf bergamot, red hot chili pepper, pimento, cinnamon, black tea, and tobacco leaves, musk, and myrtle. So it's got a really interesting combination. I actually love to use this one for layering with other things because um, this is unfortunately discontinued too, but it's just this really kind of beautiful, subtle, it is um, on the masculine side since it is marketed towards men, um, but it's, it's a beautiful, subtle, um, you can get the tea notes, you get the wood and the other spices. It's just really a nice thing. I like to actually layer this with something a little more fruity. I'll link my layering video up in the cards, but this is Gucci Ohm 2 and unfortunately it's discontinued. It's kind of highly sought after. I just kind of lucked out one day and found it on fragranceaxe.com. So this is a really great option and um, a beautiful option that has a great tea note. So the next one I'm going to talk about is um, something I talked about in my Forgotten Beauties video and this is from Bulgari and it's called Eau Parfumé Eau Té Vert, which means perfume green tea, I believe. And again, I find green green tea and other tea fragrances tend to be really nice for layering and just, just my opinion. Um, so this is a beautiful green tea that is fresh and and pretty. It's It's quite beautiful. It's got coriander, orange blossom, mandarin, orange, bergamot, cardamom, lemon, jasmine, lily of the valley, Bulgarian rose, sandalwood, amber, musk, green tea, precious woods, and cedar. It's just so elegant and gorgeous and um, beautiful on its own. It's definitely not like a long lasting. Um, I need to use quite a few sprays of this um, if I'm just using this on its own, but it's beautiful and super um, elegant, especially in summer. A lot of these I think are great for summer. You can of course wear them whenever you want, but a lot of these tend to be kind of fresh and um, and best for summer, in my opinion. So that's the Bulgari Eau Vert. The next one I have is pretty new to my collection and I just got this and talked about it in a recent haul video, which I'll link up in the cards. And this is called Tea Tonique from Miller Harris. And it has bergamot, petit grain, lemon, tea, nutmeg, peach blossom, birch, and musk. And it's so gorgeous. I'm just like, I've already worn it, even though it's definitely on the, the more sum, summery side. I get a tobacco for some reason. It's not a listed note, but I get something that reminds me of tobacco and it's gorgeous. Um, I got this travel spray. I think it was like $12 for a quarter of an ounce on fragrance net, which I think is a pretty good deal. I really don't know how much a full bottle costs, but I love this and I think it's it's unique. It's a lot um, more unique than a lot of things I smell out and about. And I think it's a very delicious, unisex, fresh, gorgeous thing. So that's Tea Tonic from Miller Harris. The next one I have is from Bulgari. And this is um, something I talked about recently in a haul video I did on minis and travel sprays <laughs> that I had just gotten. So this is um, from the Eau Parfumé line, and this is Eau Noir, Eau Té Noir. So it has black tea, Damascus rose, tobacco, leather, oud, wood bark, and patchouli. And this is a beautiful, beautiful combination that reminds me slightly of Black Orchid. I talked about that in the, vid the other video. But this is, um, it's very unisex, this whole B Bulgari line. Um, I've heard mixed reviews on the various, I know there's a Rouge version and a Blanc version and a 
something else I think. So now I have the ver the green and the noir, the black. So this is gorgeous. I think it's kind of a fall-ish. It's got kind of a smoky quality to it and I am looking forward to wearing this one. So again, this is Bulgari's Otwin Ote Noir. <laughs> and then next I am going to dive into the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea line, which I have a few of those um, fragrances here. So the first one I have is Nectarine. This is Green Tea Nectarine from Elizabeth Arden. And this has peach, bergamot, exotic fruits, green tea, nectarine, nectarine blossom, and musk. And I love these. I think they're, there must be like 30 of these in the, the line. There's a lot. So they combine um, green tea with some other. I'm definitely getting that peach. So this is a nectarine fragrance, but I get a lot of peach in here. It's beautiful. It's fruity. A lot of these green tea Elizabeth Arden fragrances are great in um, summer. And I've seen these a lot at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So you can get, and also I think I got mine on Fragrance Net. They have some really good deals on Fragrance Net. They have quite a few of them. And they're just so pretty and nice. They're not complicated, but I think they're a great summer option. So that's the Nectarine one. And then I have the Green Tea Fig. This has Bergamot, Citron, Clementine, Fig Leaf, IV Tea, Green Tea, Tamarind, Pistachio, Tonka Bean, Musk, and Clary Sage. I love this one. Um, I really love a fig note. And this is just a gorgeous combination with the green tea and the fig. And um, so that is the, the fig. This is, I think, one of the newer ones that just came out within the last few years. So this line, I don't know how long it's been around, but it seems like it's maybe 20 years if I just had to guess. And again, just some beautiful options. And then the last one I have from this line is Lotus. So this one has Asian Lily, Cherry Blossom, Yuzu, Plum, Lotus, which is, I think, a fantasy note. Green Tea and Osmanthus, Musk, White Birch. So I think when they talk about fantasy notes, that just means that um, the nose behind the fragrance is envisioning what a Lotus in this example may smell like, but it doesn't actually have a smell. Amber is actually like that. That's a fantasy note. The amber rock, of course, doesn't actually have a smell. So, um, but amber has come to mean musk and um, kind of a deep, rich, wintry, full note. So this is, again, Elizabeth Arden's Green Tea Lotus. And I get a lot of the notes that were listed, the Asian lily, the cherry blossom, yuzu, and plum, along with that green tea. It's really, really beautiful. Um, I think I like the nectarine and the fig better than this one, but this is still pretty. And then I have Commodity Oris. I have just a travel spray of Commodity Oris. I've talked about this in um, my commodity video, so I'll link that up in the cards. And this is very pretty. I'm just going to spray a piece of paper. This has carrot seed, pink peppercorn, Italian bergamot, coriander seed, lily of the valley, tea blossom, patchouli oil, Moroccan cedar wood, Italian Oris, vetiver oil, vanilla Madagascar. And it's a beautiful, um, versatile, I think. I think this is good for year round. I really love this one. So it's definitely unisex. Most of the commodity line is unisex. And of course, everything is ultimately unisex. You should wear what you want um, and what you like. So this one is gem. I can get the tea coming through, although it's obviously mixed with a lot of other different things. So I really recommend this um, commodity line. I really hope commodity comes back. I haven't really heard anything. I think I signed up for um, notifications, but I haven't heard anything yet. So hopefully they're doing okay with their relaunch. And um, so that's Oris. If you want to find out more about commodity, just check out my video. And then um, one that I don't have with me right now, but I wanted to talk about is from Zara and it's called Idle Day. It has green tea, rose and cedar. Um, the reason I don't have it is because is my daughter took it off to college, which is great because obviously I can spare a uh, fragrance <laughs> or more um, to my kids. So um, so it's really pretty. It's a beautiful floral and you can get the tea and it. Um, it's just a very bright, springy, beautiful, it's not super long lasting, but a great deal. And I, I do really like that one. And then the last one I have is from Lancome, Maison Lancome. This is um, Orange Big. Bigarad, I think it's pronounced. It has bitter orange, 
orange, bergamot, hedion, jasmine, orange blossom, pepper, black tea, benzoin, sandalwood, and vanilla. And I love this Lancome, Maison Lancome. I did a video on that house too. And so they have some really beautiful options. And this one is no exception. I love this. Uh, you just get those orange notes and the tea and the bergamot and the jasmine. It's just a beautiful combination. Um, I just am always stunned by these Maison Lancome fragrances and this one is gorgeous. So those are my favorite tea fragrances at the moment and I'd be really interested in yours. What are some of your favorite um, fragrances that feature a tea note? Um, if you could list those in the comments, that would be great. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, feel free to give it a thumbs down. And I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.